Welcome back to Cycles tutorial. We are creating a control panel using Angular and Firebase. In this episode, we are going to set up Google Firebase and authenticate the user. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this. In the last episode, we have created an Angular project and designed a sign-in form. In order to make this form work, we have to set up a Firebase project. Go to the browser, hit console.firebase.google.com. Click on create a project button. Here, you need to give a project name. In our case, we'll give control panel and this ID has to be unique. Let's edit it. We'll use control panel hyphen Cycuts so tutorial. Click on save, accept the term, click continue. And here we don't need Google Analytics, create project. The project is being created. Yeah, done. Click on the continue button and you are into Firebase project overview page. From this drop down, you can switch between different projects. On the left side, you will see various options. We are going to use build option here. Our sign-in app needs authentication. So we'll go to authentication. Here you'll see different options like Google sign-in, Facebook sign-in, but we need simple email password sign-in. From these methods, we are going to use email password method. Click on this edit button, enable the option. We don't need email link. Click on save. Yeah, done. Next, we have to register our Angular app in Firebase project. To do that, go to the settings. Click project settings, select the web option, give a name of the app, control panel, click on this register app button. Yeah, done. The Firebase config is generated. We are going to copy these settings, then click to continue. From here also, you can get the same config. Go to environments. Select environment.ts. Here you can paste the configuration. The configuration may vary for different environments. For our environment.prod.ts, we don't need Firebase for now. Next, we need Angular Fire module, which integrates Firebase and Angular. Let's go to Angular Fire GitHub repository. Copy the command. In the terminal, Let's execute this to install Angular Fire. And during installation, it will prompt you for the project selection. Select the Firebase project from the list. Well, Angular Fire is installed now. Next, we have to edit our sign in component. When you click the sign in button, it shall trigger sign in event. Let's add that. Define the function in the class. Declare the form. And then create the form builder. Let's uh, put this form group here in the form element and then let's define these uh, form input elements. So, email validator shall be required one, and also we need validators.email. Then the password, password will be a required field. Let's add form control name, email and form control name password in sign in method let's see if values are displayed properly in console log so this dot form dot value and let's say in the browser let's give a name and password sign in yes we can see the object so it's working perfectly the sign in button shall be disabled if the form is invalid. Let's add disabled property when form is invalid. Let's check this in browser. 
so if the field is not email the sign in button will be disabled next we have to create a singleton auth service and it has to be injected in code module so let's create the file first ngg service core slash service slash auth let's declare this auth service in core module create providers array declare the auth service in that array also we have to import and initialize angular fire module with firebase config in the core module let's import the environment and then angular fire module dot initialize app environment dot firebase config angular fire module comes with various modules and services out of those we are going to use angular fire auth in our case we can go to documentation of angular fire and look for authentication services and here we can use it public angular fire auth let's import the service let's define sign in method in auth service the sign in method shall take email and password we can invoke sign in with email and password method from angular fire auth service to sign in it takes two parameters email and password and change it to then in the result it shall give the details of signed in user and eventually we will need the id token that we can use later okay this email and password fields are string console log the result now we can use this auth service in our sign in component creating the service object let's validate the form first so if it is valid we can call sign in method with email and password once the user is successfully signed in we would like to call a success method from the component let's pass the success method now we can also pass an error method we can define that in our component and we shall call this success method once the login is success and in case there is any error we can call on error method for the time being we want to console log success and if there is login failure we can show failed one more step we need to perform in firebase console we need to add an user let's add saikats tutorial as an user so this email and password we can use in our sign in form enter email and password click sign in button so we can see the success message ideally instead of showing the success message we shall redirect the user to the dashboard of admin module first let's create admin module ngg module feature slash admin we are using routing done 
now let's create the dashboard component okay now we have dashboard component before we add this admin route we want to move the existing page not found route from auth routing to app routing let's cut it from here and paste it in the app routing let's check if it is working as before yes it worked now we can add admin routing in app routing module path will be admin and let's load admin module next we have to add it out in admin routing module path we can leave it blank component will be dashboard component we will also be needing shared module in upcoming episodes now from auth service we can redirect the user to dashboard once he is successfully signed in let's comment out this id token part for the time being and add router then using this router we can navigate to dashboard dot navigate if we give admin then it will take you to dashboard page let's see how it works sign in yes dashboard works so we are now into dashboard page after a successful login users would also need a sign out button for that we can add a sign out method here in auth service in the sign out method we have to call dot sign out followed by then and catch inside then function we can add the navigation to sign in page in catch block we can also put a console log to see if there is any error in the dashboard page let's give a sign out button we can copy it from here let's put it in the dashboard rename it to sign out we don't need disabled rename the action to sign out define the sign out method here in component we need auth service to call the sign out function dot sign out now let's check how it works if we click on this sign out button yeah it takes me to sign in page as expected we can improvise these sign in sign out redirections by using on auth state change function let's do that in auth service constructor so it returns user and if there is any user with authentication then we can navigate to admin otherwise we can navigate to sign in page it is very easy to navigate based on user's current state now we don't need redirections from sign in sign out method simply we are going to print these messages after a successful login we want to store the id token and user information in a session storage let's create the session storage dot set item in this we can store the user object consisting user information and the token itself let's put it here and we have to stringify this one and let's give this session a name user data we need to remove session when user logs out so let's set this user data to blank also create a function get user data to retrieve the user information using auth service get item of user data if user data is not blank then return the parsed string as an object otherwise return 
null. These navigations are not in Angular's context, so we need to use ng zone. Wrap this navigates with ng zone run. We'll move it to here. Same for this one. Let's check how sign in works in browser. Yes, we are signed in. We also want to show the email ID in dashboard. We can use auth service dot get user data to fetch the user information and let's put it in the dashboard HTML. We need to change it. Okay. This dot user data. Let's see in the browser. Okay, so it shows the email ID of current logged in user. That's it for today. We'll see you on next video.